Oh, Wessex please, thanks for joining me again. Busy set of weekends, out and about. I've done the Shropshire Outdoor Show, and it kind of rained. Long story, gazebo. Moving on, I've kept busy. So what I've done is, I've made a pattern up. From years back, I made a Laplander sheaf. So this one with a resaline finish um, and I've made it so you can also get in generic Amazon-y ones you know not necessarily bucko even that one was just quite an awkward one I think that's a Aldi or Lidl's one goes in the other way and it still fits or the uh, genuine article, so it's tobacco, and you go in, and it sort of creeps around the bottom there, and you sort of create the shape you want for your particular outdoor folding lockable wood saw. So the original pattern was this one. I've adjusted it ever so slightly. Um, belt loop is a little bit better on the new variants so it's it comes a little bit higher so it sits happily on the belt slightly more um, I've widened it slightly so I get enough room for my UW returns because I don't stitch across belt loops why it continues I don't know in the industry don't know but it does um, so yeah there's the back with the the belt loop, just a little bit more rise and fall. So I shall have those up on the website. There are blades available. I've put a little bit of texture in. I've got a lovely pattern thing that I use as a, as a stamp. And every now and again, I just ooh, I fancy a little bit of lever stamping. So. There's that, so those three are available in a natural wax finish. So the Servitus first, and Canuba, and then the Ren Wax. So fed from the outside, just in case you're interested, I'll make it a simple UK posted. Um, this is a international wise, apart from people already in the book, um, not really going there at the moment because the costs are absolutely ridiculous. Um, so anybody who was already in the books so or someone like Ralph I shall just um, carry on and post them when they're ready um, but um, international orders are a complete nightmare at the present time so all the prices that I mentioned on the site as posted UK is posted UK for the time being um, I think I'll have enough work uh, on this septic oil so, just to share, I've moved on. I want to do other few uh, little additional lever products, um, just so um, if I went to a show that is not necessarily a prepper show or or, or a, an outdoor sort of scary sharpy axy sort of show, um, that I, if I had ferro rods folding shawl sheaves maybe a couple of pouches it would still be more than family friendly if that makes sense uh, because over the event that I've just done my uh, gazebo that I got it, as it was a, like a sacrificial thing I got it if it lasts this event the next event now that that's fine just for this year um, it didn't even want to last the night it decided on jumping into a tree for some strange reason anyway three brothers um, stepped up and I now have a Coleman event shelter the bees knees the proper job you know the grey spider thing with the side walls so my options for events have just took a, a leap year forward as it were um, so huge thanks to Rob Marmick because uh, that yeah there were tears.
it's one of them moments. Um, so, Coleman Event Shelter. Um, I'm looking to be doing other leather products as well as, and the amount of ferro rods that I've got is quite a few. Recording Mitch. Recording Mitch. They start to show me like Bernard Manning and Roy Chubby Brown stuff. Mitchness. So that bag and loads in there. So ferret rods and He sold and that's available as well. <coughs> so first year really I've sort of tried to concentrate on events that I didn't get to any events because there's no Edale. I didn't make the preppers, I didn't make Piner's preppers and the Shropshire show was a bit of a rainy rainy and when I do the wilderness gathering there's only fulfilling anyway unless anybody fancies sharing a stall for just a day just putting it out there in case anybody's interested whatever your day thing is may, may be an option of I rock up with a table and uh, sell me where but uh, yeah perhaps I'll just put that into the ether just got Wessie's blades out just making some standard pouches. Well, it's standard as Wessex is with the double stitch round the back thing, and that's lock stitch down and a return and back. Double stitch that is. Lock stitch first, saddle stitch back, saddle stitch to the front. Yeah. So belt and braces overbuilt so if you like knife making lever work that sort of thing I've got a fair few playlists on making my ideas of making why I make my stuff as tough as I can make it um, playlist there 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 or there and uh, see you on the next one